So this is the AutoCAD interface. When we first go in, <coughs> depending on how the computer's been set up, it might come up with a different screen. Now, this one that we have here is the 3D modeling interface, and it's the latest version with ribbons across the top. The traditional one that people have been using for the last 10 years is called the classic interface. I'll just switch to that. Up the top here we have a quick access toolbar and one of the tools on that is the workspace selector and so I've just selected now the AutoCAD classic workface, work space. I'll just remove some of these items here. The workspace is also available down in the bottom bar here. We'll go through all of these sections. So <coughs> this is the classic interface where you have uh, toolbars down either side of the sheet and up the top and you have a menu bar up the top as well. We um, tend to use the ribbon these days rather than the um, classic interface but just so you know that those two are available. Now if you're doing 2D drafting probably the drafting and annotation option would be the best one for you so we'll start off on that. So as I said before it has the quick access toolbar across the top it has a series of tabs on the each of the tabs we have a ribbon this is called a ribbon and each of these boxes is called a panel and in each panel we have our commands or tools so if we want to start drawing a line we can click on that and away we go now obviously the drawing area down below and that's kept as large as possible we have a view cube so we can rotate our object uh, that's more used for 3D we won't be worried about that for now down the bottom here these tabs we will be looking at later on we'll be drawing in the model tab and there are other tabs for different layouts so different ways of viewing our model below that we have command line this is where we tell AutoCAD what to do and it tells us what it's looking for so we can type our commands in here and everything that you can select up here can also be typed at the command prompt as well so if we want to draw a line we can type in line and it goes into the line command same as it did before we can or we can click on that line tool and it will go into line there's also a series of shortcut keys so if you press L for example it will start drawing lines as well and that is your quickest way to use CAD if you get used to keeping your right hand if you're right handed your right hand on the mouse um, holding the <coughs> the mouse with your thumb and your uh, ring finger and your index finger and your middle finger on the mouse buttons and then if you're using CAD these days you really want a mouse that's got a wheel which as you wheel it away from you it makes the picture bigger as you wheel it towards you it makes it smaller and then get used to keeping your left hand on the keyboard that's the fastest way to do CAD so it's not like they teach you in typing school last area down the bottom here the status bar as we move the mouse around the screen you'll notice that these coordinates are changing so it is telling us where the mouse is on the screen in terms of an X coordinate a Y coordinate and a Z coordinate now <coughs> there's also a lot of uh, option buttons down here which we'll be talking about later as well on our status bar so getting back to the position of the cursor on the screen our crosshairs you'll notice that we've got an XY coordinate um, axis down the bottom here it's called the user coordinate system the UCS and it's telling us that our X is positive is traveling across the screen screen to the right in a horizontal direction 
and as I move across you'll notice that the first uh, figure there on the status bar is getting bigger as we move up the screen the Y the second coordinate is getting bigger so our positive Y uh, is vertically up the screen our zero zero point it's pretty hard to get right onto it <coughs> but that is in the bottom left hand corner of the screen there so every point on the screen we can define by typing in a coordinate we're not worrying about the third coordinate now notice that's always staying as zero but if we go into uh, a 3D view which we can do it's working in 3D at any time uh, the Z coordinate is how far away from the, the screen but we'll just deal with the planned view for now the XY view <coughs> 